The Roman domus followed a codified layout where every space had a precise function. It was organized around an atrium, a central hall open to the sky through an opening in the roof, allowing rainwater to fall into a shallow basin below called the impluvium. Arranged around the atrium were the main reception and living spaces, bedrooms, dining rooms, storage rooms, and often the kitchen. At the far end stood the tablinum, the owner's office, where the master of the house conducted business and received clients. Beyond this zone, the wealthiest households included a second open courtyard, the peristyle. This columned garden was often richly decorated with fountains, sculptures, ornamental plants, and in some cases even a pool. The most affluent domus also incorporated private bath complexes, equipped with heated rooms and designed to accommodate multiple guests. Decoration throughout the domus reflected the fortune of its owner. Floors were frequently covered with intricate mosaics, while walls were painted with elaborate frescoes. Facing the street, small shops were often built on either side of the entrance, providing rental income or serving as outlets for the owner's own goods. The Domus was the private house of Rome's wealthy elite. The wealthier the owner, the larger the Domus. Additional rooms and even upper floors could be added, since Domus plans were flexible and adapted to space, taste and later expansions.